My name is Ndutuzo Makatini. I'm a pianist, a scholar, improviser, father to some, brother to some, and yeah, that basically is me. And my function in this project has been a conductor, uh, but also as someone who writes the music and producing the music, but most importantly, using all of those elements as part of a greater idea of mentorship and mentoring these students that I've been working with. My name is Michael Nguna and I'm from Tembisa. I've been playing trumpet for 12 years, as I said. Ndutuzo got fascinated by our playing. He's the one who came with the idea of like an album playing this music, so yeah. Meeting Ndutuzo, that's why I saw that there's still a lot that I don't know, you know. I've learned a lot just like by listening to him teaching us. Because like a lot of like jazz musicians don't have teachers or people who are guiding them in this like career, you know, and they end up like not reaching where they wanna reach. So I think Nutuzo showed me another like ways like I didn't know in the jazz industry. It is important to have a mentor. Most of like jazz musicians like don't get an opportunity to like have uh, people who are gonna guide them, you know. So for me, I think this is a, it's a big opportunity for me to like get to meet Ndutuzo. My name is Lizam and um, yeah, I'm from Cape Town. Yeah, currently a student studying music <laughs> and yeah, I'm a trombonist and that's my role in the band. Also, my role is to interpret the music as best I can or to free myself as best I can by playing the music. Personally, I've learned so much like I literally had to write it down. To me, Ndudus was one big school or institute and he's really taught me so much. Regarding the recording, it was really different for me because I've never recorded in this type of setting before, that things were so rushed because of people's schedules and stuff like this. But I think that we did a great job for the time that we had. Yeah, it was a great experience. When it came to the improvisation, it was really mind-blowing for me, like how people could just come up with such um, beautiful solos or melodies, you know. So that's what drew me and like listening to recordings, like it was really fascinating how people can be so, like recordings sound perfect to me, you know. My name is Jed Peterson uh, from Cape Town, I'm a saxophonist. Um, yeah, I'm one of the saxophone players in the group. I think it's very, it's very important to have the right the right mentors, actually, you know, um, ones with experience, um, with the right uh, tools, you know, um, because at the end of the day, they're giving you direction into your own career um, and, and where and where not to go as well. Um, and I think from a music business side, it's also very important. Um, it's not spoken about very often. And I think in the Duzo is like, he's like a, a master when it comes to strategizing uh, business plans, how to go about, um, you know, getting certain places, getting funding, you know, um, with Standard Bank, like, you know. Um, so yeah, you know, um, super important to have the right um, mentor, you know. My name is Fenton Moses Sibola and my role in the band was to be part of the horn section and I play the tenor saxophone. Mentorship for me is important because it's not easy being in your early 20s. And you know, I studied jazz music and I'm, I'm a jazz musician now. 
that's not really easy. My peers, it's hard for me to even invite them to one of my shows, you know, because people assume when you say you're a musician, you're a singer, or you do I'm a piano, and all of that. So through his mentorship, you get to understand that the certain things you don't have to do, certain things to avoid, and the certain things that you must do as, a, as an artist, as a person as well. Well, the Dooza Mentor, that's way beyond artistry. He gives us like life lessons and all of that. So yeah, he's, he's done quite a lot for us. I, I feel like this is a wonderful opportunity for each and every one of us to be under him. And I mean, he's, he's someone we all look up to. He's a Blue Note recording artist, for goodness sake. And yeah, you know, so he's his vibes, man. It's good to just rub shoulders with him and get as much knowledge as we can from him. So, hey guys, I'm Dane Paris. I play the drums and cymbals. Um, my role in the band was holding it down in certain sections, adding colors, textures to different parts of the music and, and just being a part of the band. Mentorship, I think, is a really big part in the industry um, because that's, I think that's how we grow, that's how we learn about the lineage of the music, how we learn about what has come before us so that we can go forward and discover new things because without discovering new things, you have to know what, what has come and certain things that we need to do. Um, the mentorship for me is really big because I learn from his experiences, who has it, who's mentored him, people that have come that he's learned from. And so the lessons that he has learned always gets passed down. And eventually one day I'd pass it down to someone. Else. And we need to keep that going for the culture, for the, the industry and the, yeah. I'm Steven D'Souza and I am a bass player and I'm specifically playing double bass on this recording. In this sense, having like a mentor like Nduduzo, he's, he's got wisdom and experience for all the years in this, sort of, in this South African music industry and beyond. He's been all overseas, he's toured, he, he knows how the industry works and he knows I mean, he knows how to write good music. He knows, he understands what behind music making. And it's nice to get his sort of sense around these kind of topics. Like, how do you make music? How do you arrange music? What do you do in a business sense behind it? Because there's all this sort of other stuff, the admin that musicians don't really think about. We just want to play and to have a good time. Um, but there's so many things behind it that you need to start taking into consideration and he has helped a lot of us, you know, be aware of those kind of things. Um, so yeah, it's, just, it's like taking knowledge and wisdom and experience from someone that's been there and, and done it. And it's helped us all, I think. So my name is Brathew van Skalkwijk. I am the pianist of Shuri. And yeah, that's pretty much my function today. Well, we've been in studio for the past three days recording our debut album. So that's very exciting. Yeah. Mentorship is right up there, especially in, 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 in the musician's journey, but I think also in life. Um, you can go to a school and you can learn by the book and you can do this and you can do that. But at the end of the day, what really contributes to your growth is, is that, that element of mentorship because you are, you are building a relationship with someone who, who has had experience in a particular journey that you would want to pursue that could lead you in any direction, but, but just that type of, of guidance and mentorship. My name is Roger Sang Sichele. Um, I am a vocalist in the Standard Bank National Youth Jazz Band. And yeah, my role is basically um, to be the vocalist, um, just add some flavor, 
melodically <laughs> in the band and yes um, that's me I was singing throughout and enjoying myself <laughs> mentorship is very 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 important in our industry um, and I think for me that was one of the highlights of my experience um, we see like a gap we don't have enough people and mentoring, teaching people, or teaching us as youngsters. We always constantly have to like figure things out ourselves. We make so many mistakes um, that kind of affect our journey or affect our future. So I think mentorship is important because it's like a guideline. Yeah, I think what inspired the music is basically how we're all connected to one another, um, the things that are happening in the world, um, and just having like connection with one another on a very deep level musically. Okay, I'm gonna not necessarily interpret, but I was stretched throughout this entire process. And one thing that Mr. Makatini told me was to fetch. So when he was saying fetch, he kept saying fetch. And I kept saying fetch. <laughs> I don't know if you see what I did there. That's what it means, fetching from within. Whatever you show to the world or whatever you give to the world has to start from within. I can't fetch from there and try to bring it out in my music or in whoever's music, whatever project I'm a part of. It needs to come from within. And I think with that, the word surrender comes into the picture as well, which is something that I really learned from this entire process from last year. And there was a conversation that Nduduzo Makatini had with Jed on Instagram about surrendering. That's something I struggle with. Um, and I think getting into this year, being a part of this project, being here really just forced me to let go, fetch from within and share. So I think that's what Atsipagati means <laughs> to me.